चाइनीस लूनर न्यू ईयर रिसेप्शन के मौके पर चाइनीज कॉन्सुलेट और मदन मित्रा एक साथ नजर आए इस मौके पर कॉन्सुलेट ने हैप्पी न्यू ईयर कहा और हिंदुस्तान और चाइना के दरमियान जो रब जब्त है उसे मजबूत करने की बात कही उन्होंने इंडिया एक दूसरे के साथ
vigorously, vigorously advocate humanity's common values, during which they had in-depth communication on improving bilateral relations. The exchange between us, the cooperation between us in the fields of economy, trade, and people-to-people -people exchange and cultural exchange have been advancing. This figure is very important. It's very new. It just come, comes out. Last year, the bilateral trade between us, between China and India, reached a new re record high of 100 35.98 billion US dollars. I repeat, that is 2022. Bilateral trade between India and China is 135.98 billion US dollars. It's close to 136 billion US dollars. Among this number, India buy from China, the, the buy from China, that is from nine, uh, um, less than, less than 100 billion dollars to over 118.5 billion US dollars. That is a big increase, that is 21.7% 21, 21 increase. So Indian students, Indian students studying China have continuously and successfully returned to their campus in China. Friends of the two countries also commemorated the 80th anniversary of the death of the great internationalist fighter, Dr. Dr. Kotnis, and the 50th anniversary of the founding of all India Dr. Cotnis Memorial Committee is established by Dr. Cotnis' close friend and co fighter, Dr. Bijoy Kumar Basu. He's from Kolkata. The situation on China India border is generally stable. The two sides have maintained the communication through diplomatic, diplomatic and military channels and are committed to maintaining peace and tr tranquility in the body area. This summit for the first time as the G20 rotating presidency. The theme of India's G20 presidency, I'm very pleased to know this, you know, one earth, one family, one future. Actually, this coincides exactly with the concept of China's one world, one family, and one community with a shared future for mankind, advocated by China. You know, India and China, we, we, you know, we have such a long history sharing the belief sharing the knowledge between us. So, new era will see us coming closer and closer together. China and India should work together to play a major role in the world development, global governance and the Asian century. Finally, I wish you all a happy Chinese New Year, happiness and health to your family, prosperity to your business, to your career, to everything you wish for. And for China, there's one very critical um, ingredient of the celebration. Whenever you say, uh, whenever you meet since day one, maybe since today, you never say bad things to people say great things to you. All positive. So I'm more positive, I'm more uh, op optimistic, and um, Due to time limit, 
Uh, as you can see, friends, uh, this year we do not have the luxury to have dignitaries come on stage. But I will organize a longer art show instead for you to, to, to see how my staff is working, how my community is working together, and how we hold confidence about future. Uh, thank you very much, friends. Uh, a very happy new 2023. Thank you very much. Chinese, some of them Bengali, but I'm not sure how they mix. But I want to take this opportunity to wish you to to, to make to propose this toast for a grand new beginning for everyone in this house and every one of your family, your country, your culture, your civilizations. Thank you very much. So, Please so Wish Day uh, will be uh, January the 22nd. Uh, that is the official beginning of Chinese lunar calendar, the beginning of the new year. So in China, um, for a beginning to begin the, uh, the new year, we set, we organize a lot of local celebrations, just like Yoga uh, Buddha celebrated in, in, in East in, in China. You know, uh, parents sort of have to spend a lot of money for kids, and kids would expect a lot of gifts, uh, money and envelopes. And uh, uh, boys and girls would join the family. So as you can see that the Chinese, millions and millions of Chinese are traveling to home uh, since the last few days. It will, um, actually in China we, came, we say this uh, is the uh, spring transportation rush. That is the high season, the Chinese bullet train will bring uh, their hundreds of millions of boys and girls back home to join their family. So uh, I would like to take this opportunity to wish uh, my friends in East India a very happy new year. And uh, I wish uh, all of you the very best uh, 2023. And also we look forward to working with you to develop a, to develop a, a healthy uh, relationship between India and China. And what will you say about the situation that is uh, going on in China right now? Uh, China uh, is doing very well. Uh, China officially opened on January the 8th. Uh, it's, it's getting back to normal very quickly. 
to the surprise of many friends in the West, uh, China's economy is doing very well. As I said, uh, will say in my speech, uh, official speech later, that China's economy uh, is doing very well. Uh, the GDP 2022 will.